Okay, so we're going to start a series of interviews with uh, my brother, Matus Michael Garber. And it's the uh, 1st of June, or <coughs> 2nd, of June. 2nd of June, 2018. And uh, we'll just do it in a casual manner, and perhaps we'll just start off with uh, some of your reminiscences of uh, maybe kindergarten, primary school, and then we'll go okay. maybe to... Right, that um, wonderful place, Chippy Boys High. <laughs> yes. Okay, kindergarten. Kindergarten. I went to a place, to a house that was run by a woman called a Mrs. Roper. That, that was at, at about the age of three, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Um, I don't really remember very much about it. I remember, I know where the house is, and uh, it was in York Road in Kensington. Mm-hmm. And it was an uneventful time. It was really, very pleasant. We did the normal things that three-year-olds do. They just play around. Then I went to Kensington South High School, which is now called Eastgate Primary. That's in, that was in 1959. It's in Cumberland Road. That's in Cumberland Road, corner <coughs> Queen Street in Cumberland Road. And I had a teacher called Mrs. Hazelhurst, a very sweet woman. We then went and we, 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 were, we learned our times table. We were given counters, red um, um, cardboard squares with a, with a yellow dot. I don't know if Jeffrey got the same type of thing. Mm-hmm. And, and we yeah. learned how to count with those things. And, and the, the grade ones were in a more modern building than the, and grade twos were in a more modern building than the other buildings. Those buildings were probably built in the early 50s or the late 40s. The other buildings must have been built in, in the 1930s. The school hall was built in 1959. I remember the date. And, and if you look at the school halls all around Kensington, they all look the same. Yeah. They, so well, there was one plan. architect and one, <laughs> one master plan for them. Um, and do you, remember, you, do you remember when you changed from writing in pencil to probably uh, ink? This, this we, would have used well, inkwell we, in those days. We used inkwells. In fact, we used inkwells to art in ex- except um, in Standard 5. We, people started using fountain pens. And then every, everybody was sporting a fountain pen. This was the rage to be able to have a fountain pen. <laughs> Before we would have inkwells with nibs, with copper nibs, and once a week we were given a new nib. <laughs> and blotting paper? <laughs> um, yes, we had blotting paper. And um, in 1961, South Africa became a republic. I remember bef- and the currency changed from pounds, shillings and pence to rands and cents. I remember when that was in- going to be introduced, somebody came to the, sco- the-, the school with a shiny golden coin and said, this is the, this is the cent, it's a new penny. Mm-hmm. And the, there was a tuck shop, and were run by the prefects by the standard fives. And I remember the cold rings used to cost about fourpence. Mm-hmm. Another event in my life was being taken to the library when I was six years old. My mother took me to the Kensington Library, the Rhodes Park Library, and I joined that. Mm-hmm. And that still exists. That still exists. And if your books were late, you were fined fourpence. <laughs> you were allowed to keep them for a week or two. I can't remember now. And and there was, a, like? there was a post office that was still operating. Now that building that where the post office was just as post office boxes. There was a proper letter box with the with a with the British emblems on it. Mm. A big a red mm. letter box. If you look at old films, you see those mm. kinds of letter boxes. Maybe they still exist in mm. England. That's right. How did you then, feel? Do do you? Uh, share maybe a little bit of how you felt when you first went to the library. Do you recall? Or, or I remember. I remember the very first day. Yes. Going to the library and I probably chose a noddy book. Yes. Um, I don't remember anything else, but every week I I'd, 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 I'd borrow books so, but of, of that nature. I'll take them back, and later on I joined the town library, mm. and uh, uh, obviously borrowed more 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 advanced books in that. And I was a very average scholar in in um, Ken, in Kensington South. I was, they had A stream and B stream. I was in the B stream, and I went. Then then I 
and nothing very eventful occurred. I, I went, we had a, a Mr. Morton who was a Standard 5 teacher, who was a, a we now realize was a total anti Semite, an ex British Army officer, <laughs> the real type that, that they sent to Palestine to, to, <laughs> to, 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 to monitor the place, that type of mentality, <coughs> which regarded English as superior to everybody else and everybody else is, is subhuman. 